Hey guys, so I wanted to talk to you today about um, the skincare products that have literally changed my skin. Um, if those of you who had watched my videos before, um, I definitely showed you guys my face and the blemishes that I had and all that kind of stuff. So I just kind of wanted to go through um, literally the products that just kind of changed my world and some ingredients as well. So I did a lot of research on skincare and I got a lot of really great information from um, Paula's Choice. So Paula Bagone, she's the cosmetics cop is what she's known for. So I went onto her website, put a link down below, um, and basically I learned so, so much about skincare ingredients and what's good for your skin and um, what's not good for your skin. So I'm definitely not a doctor, I am not a dermatologist, I'm so not saying anything, but these are the things that I learned about skin that really, really helped me. So um, a couple of things that were really important to me when I was looking up skincare is what kind of treatment that I'm looking for for the future. So um, an ingredient that I really was interested in was retinol. So retinol um, is basically vitamin A. Really good for cell communication. It's um, an antioxidant. It really is good for discolorations, um, wrinkles from sun damage, eczema, and acne as well. It can help with all of those things. And you want to make sure that your retinol is in the right packaging so that when you're using it, it is as stable as possible and as safe as possible. It can cause irritation, so definitely, um, you know, be very careful. The biggest thing with retinol is that you have to use a sunscreen because it will cause sun sensitivity. So that was something that um, I was really interested in and I wanted to know more about and try and use. So I don't necessarily have like wrinkles or anything like that, but I wanted to help prevent them. I had some and have some discoloration up here. Um, there's just like two dots and I don't know if they're sun damage or I don't really know what they are, um, but there are two dark spots and then I had acne as well and I have um, not rosacea on my cheeks, but it, they're just rosy cheeks so I thought that would help. Um, the next thing I was interested in was antioxidants. So I didn't know what they were. They inhibit free radical damage. So free radical damage is caused by pollution, is caused by the sun, is caused by so many things. So whether you eat antioxidants or whether you put them on your skin, they can do nothing but good. Put as many as you possibly can. It's always going to be great for your skin. So that was something that was really important to me as well when I was um, looking for my skincare. The next thing was exfoliation. So I've always had a problem with exfoliation. Um, always, always. And I, I would like put on the scrubbies and I'd scrub my nose and then I would break out. And I was like, okay, I don't understand. Why does everyone love exfoliation? My skin would get all red and then I'd break out really bad. Um, and then I would do it like gentle. Everyone was like, oh, you're scrubbing too hard. And so I do it really, really gently. So, um, and I would still break out, which is awesome. So basically, I was looking for something that would exfoliate my skin, give me like that kind of glowy, dewy complexion without having to manually scrub. So I was researching AHAs and BHAs. So AHAs are alpha hydroxy acid. They're better for um, anyone like with dry skin or sun damaged skin because they actually exfoliate on the surface of your skin. And, and then there's BHAs which are beta hydroxy acids and usually people who have oilier skins, um, blackheads, blemishes, stuff like that, they like BHAs better because they actually work on the pore level. So your AHAs are like glycolic acid and then your BHAs would be your salicylic acid and your benzoyl peroxide. Um, BHAs also are anti-inflammatory so that's why in acne treatments they use benzoyl peroxide and salicylic acid. It's just really important to be using the right ones and that don't have ingredients in there that are going to counteract all the good that those ingredients are doing. And there are tons of skincare products out there that Paula recommends. So she goes and she compares all the different brands, which I think is really, really cool. But she also has her own line. So for me, it was really, really important to um, really get the right ingredients and the right system down. So I did order a bunch of products from her line and I've been using them for about three months um, and I have reordered the products. It's not to say that I couldn't find the products um, in one of the stores that we have here and they would just be, they would be as good because they would be, but uh, 
it's just so much easier, so much more clear cut. So I want to show you the products that I'm using. They're probably, everyone's products that they are using are different. I definitely took advantage of um, their like contact us and I asked a thousand questions. So I put a whole bunch of things together and I said, okay, this is what I want to use. And then I actually wrote it down and I asked them on the website, Should, what, does this combination work? And they helped me tweak it. Um, and even when I got it home, I found I had to kind of tweak it a little bit more. I just whistled. Did you hear that? Um, anyway, so the first thing that I start with is um, the Moisture Boost uh, One Step Cleanser. It comes in a huge bottle. Um, so it's 473 mils or 16 ounces for those of you who live in the States. Um, there's a lot of steps here. I know that. If you don't want to use this many steps, then don't. But I wanted the best benefits for my skin. It does take off all of my makeup except for if I have um, a really stubborn eyeliner on then it won't take that off but other than that it's awesome. It makes my skin so soft after I wash it. It doesn't give you that squeaky clean feeling because it's actually not good for your face um, but it's for normal to dry skin so she has cleansers for all types. What I wanted was because I was I knew I was going to be using glycolics and I was going to be using um, beta hydroxy acids as well. I wanted to make sure that I was hydrating my face because I know that my face dries out. So, Moisture Boost One Step Cleanser. Um, I've had this for three months and I would say it's about to here. And I use it twice a day. I use this morning and night. And then um, the toner. I'm actually using two toners. So <clears throat> their second one is technically not actually meant to be a toner, but kind of is. Anyway, um, so I'm using the Advanced uh, Replenishing Toner. The Resist line of hers is f like her anti-aging line, but I did a lot of research on what I wanted this to do. It's very, very hydrating. Um, it's like a milky consistency. If you've ever used the Clinique um, Mild Clarifying Lotion, kind of where you have to shake it, it's similar to that. And I use this um, twice a day. I wasn't using it twice a day. I was using this at night, and then I was using this in the morning, which I'll get into what this is after. Um, and I found that it's actually worked a lot better for me to use this toner morning and night and then use uh, the beta hydroxy. This is the extra strength um, targeted acne relief toner with 2% salicylic acid. So they actually have this as like their BHA 2% um, as well, which I've ordered because I don't like the packaging. Mine actually, like I got it the first day and I was so excited and I put it in my bag and it spilled. So anyways. Um, but I use this after I use this. So these two things together really help hydrate my skin and this really like softens it and it's got tons of antioxidants in it as well. So this is the beta hydroxy acid. Now I use this twice a day now. The reason I'm doing that was because originally I was using this at night with a glycolic and then I was using this in the morning. And uh, I found that the glycolic wasn't doing as much for me, and after a while I started to get flushed. Um, as I was using the glycolic, I think I had just, I was using too many different products. So I emailed um, Paul's Choice and they kind of gave me some tips of what to do. And so they kind of said pair these two together morning and night, and because blackheads are my main concern, um, this has been really helping. So I used to have blackheads right in here and I used to have some right in here. They're completely gone. The one on my nose and the ones on my chins, one. Yeah, I've got one blackhead. No, I have more than that. I have lots of blackheads on my nose. They're going away. They're, I can see there's less of them. They're not completely gone yet. This isn't an overnight miracle um, in terms of blackheads. For a glycolic, that was an overnight miracle for me. My skin was so soft and radiant the next day. I just was using way too many things and I had to pick the most important thing for me. Did I want um, the surface texture to be good or did I want my blackheads gone? And the surface texture was uh, the glycolic and then the uh, blackheads was this guy here. Again, this one I've been using for the three months as well. 118 mils or four ounces, same with this one I'm pretty sure. Yeah, and still not out of that one, and half this one spilled, so I've been lucky. So this was the glycolic that I was using. Um, it's an 8%, so it's pretty high. And then I went crazy, and I'm actually sending this back, and I got the 10% glycolic because I thought, oh, well, you know, this one's really good. And it was actually the 10 that made me have a sensitivity, and then even when I went back to the 8, I found that I was still flushing. I don't know if that's, like, science and that actually makes sense, but um, this weekly resurfacing treatment, 10% glycolic is awesome. It made my skin feel like butter. It was amazing, um, but just not great for my skin with all the other things that I was using. So 
Um, I'm actually sending this one back. They have an awesome return policy. So that's the glycolic. And this one is actually like a clear gel. I don't know if you can see that. Um, but it's a clear gel. You can get it, I do believe. Um, a lot of the different products, like this one, for example, also comes in a lotion. Um, and it might even come in a gel as well. So I did get the lotion because originally I was like, oh, I'll use this at night and this during the day or I'll use them both together and I was just going nuts and I was doing way too many things for my skin. But I will use this one um, when I run out of this because it's the same thing. It's just this is in a liquid form and this is in a cream form. Then for my moisturizer, I know I'm being long-winded, so I'm sorry. Um, but this is something that I'm really passionate about and it's changed my skin. Um, I literally have a little bit of powder on and some blush and that's it. I don't have foundation on, which for me is huge. Um, I got the Resist Anti-Aging Clear Skin uh, Highlighter. Highlighter. Moisturizer. Um, so it helps radiance. It's really, really lightweight. It almost feels like a gel. What I like is that after I use all of these products, I put this on and it almost feels like I didn't use any products. Um, it takes away the feeling of like a lot of product on my skin. It's in a pump. So absolutely amazing. So I'm using this as a moisturizer. So I cleanse. I tone. I put on my beta hydroxy acid. Then, before my moisturizer at night, I am using the Skin Recovery Antioxidant Serum. So this is, um, this actually has retinol in it, this one. And um, it is full of antioxidants, has the retinol in it as well. So I'm using this one at night, and this is for normal dry to very dry skin. They have a mattifying one as well that I'm actually going to try. I order it next. So I use this one at night, and then I use my Super Antioxidant Concentrate Serum in the morning. So these are really, really similar. Um, they are both packed with antioxidants. They're just like a really great serum. Um, they say that you can use them as like a, a primer before your makeup, but I find them a little bit too like thick and my makeup catches on it so that's why I like to go in with this afterwards and much much better so then as I say it's a lot of steps if you don't want to use this many steps don't but this is what I use and it's working really well for me so morning night and then I put this on morning and night and then during the day because I'm using a retinol and all of these exfoliating products and because I don't want to look older when I'm older oh. <laughs> I am using um, this Essential Non-Greasy SPF 15. So this is awesome, awesome. So I got it for normal to oily combination skin because I wanted it to feel really, really light. I put this on my face and neck. I've had this for three months. There's barely any gone. Um, and I put it on every day. It's UVA and UVB protected. And I wear my makeup over this. It's awesome. It's a wicked primer. It still feels a little bit like sunscreen, but a lot less than any other sunscreen that I've ever used. So if I do have an active blemish, they still happen, um, then I'll go in actually with my Clinique Acne Solutions Benzoyl Peroxide. So this kills the bacteria on the surface of the skin. So that is my routine. I have had some pitfalls. I've tried a whole bunch of different things, and I've gotten some really great advice from the Polish Choice people. Um, their website is absolutely amazing. As I say, definitely check it out. It's really, really cool and it's something that I'm really passionate about because it's really changed my skin. So I know that was a lot of information. I know it seems like I'm using a lot of products. Um, but honestly, it's literally, I cleanse, I tone, I exfoliate, and then I put on my antioxidant, and then I moisturize. This you can use as just a moisturizer, the SPF, but I find that my skin is so dry, um, I don't like to do that. So, totally up to you, but I hope you guys um, found that helpful. I hope it was some good information. You can find comparables to all these products in store. It's just I found it so easy, literally it's like 2% salicylic acid, whereas in the store it will be like this brand's blah 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 recovery recovery what what and you're like okay but what is the active ingredient and what else is in there what is it going to do for me so you kind of have to wade through all the garbage to get to the gems um but paula's site will also help you with that so i hope you learned something um and we will talk to you guys soon Bye bye